welcome back to Kristen Cooks. This is another retro dinner from my childhood, so stay tuned. Okay, so chicken divan is what I'm preparing for dinner tonight. So we have, um, starting off with a cup of mayonnaise. This is just a half cup measure. That's why I'm going in twice. Um, we're mixing all these things together. The mayo, two cans of cream of chicken, curry powder, and lemon juice. All right, so while I mix up all this, I'll give you a little backstory to the recipe. Uh, it was invented in the 1940s. It was a popular menu item, um, a medium budget menu item of fine dining restaurants and country clubs during the 1960s and 1970s. Uh, it was great for brunch, lunch, or dinner. Um, it was served with to toast points, buttered noodles, or steamed rice. I went in with buttered egg noodles. Egg noodles are a fave of my kids right now. I don't know what it is, but <laughs> uh, they both love it. Um, so, yeah, and it was created um, a classic American dish. It was American. Um in the, it was created in the Divan Parisian restaurant of New York City's um, Chatham Hotel by a chef named Lagasse. Lagasse, is that how you say his name? Um, yeah, so, I don't know. Not that interesting, I guess, but I just thought I'd share. Um, my mom used to make this every once in a while for us. And, you know, we liked it. I like it still. It's, if you like lemon, creamy, um, casserole type dinners, th try this one. I mean, um, it's good. I liked it. It's good over noodles. Um, and so also broccoli goes into it. So this is frozen broccoli and I'm putting a little baking soda on it and just kind of warming it up with, um, some hot water from the kettle. And the baking soda will just kind of keep that vibrant green color from, from the broccoli. So I'm just letting it sit in there for a few minutes. And then I'm going to drain it off and put it in my casserole dish. Just like that. And I'm also going to shock it with a little cold water here too. That also helps to keep the nice vibrant green color. This is just a, a quick way to cook veggies. If you don't want to bother with boiling water and stuff, just use your, your kettle. Okay, and then this is um, chicken that I've had prepared. It was just in the freezer. I defrosted it, and now I am just dicing it up. Um, you're supposed to have about two cups worth. This is probably about there, maybe a little over. And then for the broccoli, you need um, 10 ounces of frozen broccoli, which I think this was, what I used was shy of that, but it's okay. It was enough. And then one cup of um, grated cheddar cheese over the top, and then you can top it with breadcrumbs or cracker crumbs, but I used Ritz crackers. And preheat your oven for 350 to 350, and this will go in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. So, yeah. I don't know. I like it. It's good. I like lemon juice, though, and I like creaminess. And, yeah. You can make this more healthfully, health, health conscious, I guess. Um, you know, you can cut down on the the canned soup and, and stuff like that. But I decided to go for the full, the full Monty here. Okay. The full effect. I'm not holding back. We want hot, comforting, uh, meals in the winter time. Yes, we do. So yeah, just putting down the broccoli first, then putting the chicken on top of that, like that. Then you pour the soup mixture over the top of that. I like the nice, the pale yellow color of it. It's good. I enjoy casseroles. It's not really a favorite of my family's, but I like it. It's enjoyable to me. And this was my choice for the week. I like to give everybody a choice of dinner for the week. Everybody gets a choice. 
And choices aren't always popular with everybody, but hey, it's a choice. <laughs> uh, going in, this is cheddar cheese. Sharp cheddar. I love sharp cheddar. It's my fave. Uh, this is a little Gruyere cheese. It's a Swiss cheese. Going in with that, had this in the fridge. I needed to use it up a little bit. And just for a little bit of garnish, parsley flakes. They don't really add much to it, but just for some color, make it a little interesting. Okay, and then I'm um, crushing up a pack of Ritz crackers. I like doing this with my hand. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> then over the top of that and then I'm going to dot it with some butter you could also I thought of this while I was doing it um, put the crushed up crackers in a bowl and pour some melted butter over the top and it would be the same I think I'll do that next time if I ever make it again um, not because it wasn't good it just wasn't a favorite of my family's but I like it and I think there's people out there that still like it so I wanted to post this um, but yeah if you just drizzle the cracker crumbs with the melted butter and mix it around it will probably brown up a lot better than just dotting it over the top like I did here so that's a change that I would make for the next time so yeah, this is just kind of a different uh, dinner than what I usually make, and I kind of felt like posting this one. My mom, like I said, she used to make it for us every once in a while, and I'm sure there's lots of people out there that have had it before too. Uh, so yeah, just cover it up, put it in the oven, 25-30 minutes, and it's done, bubbly and uh, melted. So I just made some egg noodles, put a little butter and parsley on the egg noodles, and dinner was ready. I enjoyed it. I liked it. And I will list the recipe in the description box below. So give it a try. I think you would like it. <laughs> That's what I always say, I think. But it's true. I think it's true. So if you like this content, if you like my channel... Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Thank you to everybody that has subscribed to me lately. I so appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye, guys.